And welcome back, life, everybody. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> Try, that yeah. Try that again. Try that again. Okay. Sha la 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 la. Don't you fret. Yeah. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Before the storm. La la la. <laughs> so anyway, last time we got to see a star. Okay. Like I was about to say, laser light show, her. but it's like, no, that's not right. You might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me. Okay. Well, we've already I'm gone through this, so yeah. we we won't. We already this. went through this, so we'll talk over going over last time. So last time we went stargazing God, inside of Rachel's me. room Pick up. to try to cheer her up, Christ. and Christ. we're gonna do our best to fix the car and arrange a meet up with Sarah. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor. In this episode, as you can see right now, Who's Chloe safe? is once again contacting Frank because the autosave kicked in after we went through this. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Once we're done here, we'll look around Chloe's room and then head on over to the junkyard. Yeah! Something important. Can you help? I was really hoping that the, the conversation would have ended when I got done with the intro, I but... Really appreciate But it's still going. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. You're a real swell pal, uh, Frank. Oh, well. You're a real yeah. beep, jackass. What am I getting myself into? All right, so we'll answer the text just so that okay. way it's okay. there. But we've already read time. it, so let's just get it over with. Just so it's there. We are, like I said, already went through it last time. So now we're caught up. We already we, read this before. Yes, that's what. That's exactly what I just finished saying. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Okay. So let's look around Chloe's room again. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. No, maybe because she knows that you're fucking 14, 15 years old and you're old enough to do your own shit, Chloe. Alright, so let's look around. A plant. Have I ever watered that? Probably should. Uh, better than nothing. That's debatable. Yeah, soda always helps. Pretty sure that'll quickly kill a plant. Skateboard. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Oh, does it not have any wheels? Ooh, yeah. Junk. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. All right, so I take it changing clothes is the last thing that we do? You'll see. All right, alarm clock. It's way too early to be up on a Sunday. All right, and photo. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Snapshot into, wait, what? Graffiti. What do I want the record to show? Burning or burnout? The sudden and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. So she just dotted her own self out? I guess. Alright. What else is there? Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Figures. Sarah Gearhart. One result, 27 seconds. Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to Sarah Gearhart. Uh, March 16th, 1989, each year Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award named after famous explorer Robert Fisher to the student who's best, dot dot dot, that's about it. Try another search. There's no way that would just be um, one. What? Victoria Chase commented on a photo you're tagged in. What? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Oh. 
Just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what, gir what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. A further layer of nuance. Nathan almost pissed himself. Blackwell's a tempest takes Shakespeare by storm. What? By Daniel Ball. Last night, the tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from overdone classic works. Stellar in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Worthy of special mention was Nathan Prescott as Caliban. The promising young actor's weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster added a further layer of nuisance severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd. How are an idiot? Yet the real star tonight in the role of Ariel was newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Miss Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand. As she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty, Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. Five stars. Yeah. Go skip. When to quit. An interview with Skip Matthews, Pizzhead Frontman. Oh! Oh, an interview with Skip! Okay. Our KDB News Online. So a charmingly homemade music video for the song Nothing Wrong hit the internet last night. In the last 12 hours, it has accumulated over 200,000 hits. Yeah, we were surprised as everyone else. How can you explain the sudden appearance of the first music video? I just really needed a change. I was working full-time in a job I hated, and I finally worked up the nerve to quit. It was so freeing, I just felt the need to channel the feeling into something new. So, if we said that we didn't like his music, would that not be there? Basically, that yeah, interview? because it gives him up hope. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Nice to see Skip doing well, though. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Okay, is there anything else? No. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Victoria? So, I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little psychic now. Yep. I, I've i had it with you this school. God damn it. Okay, go back to Victoria. Uh, Here psychic. We go. There. I've had it with this school. Nobody gave a shit about my last, la last, uh, nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all about Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man. When you're an awful person and then everyone suddenly realized, that's just the worst. <laughs> Fuck you, Chloe. You know, she's not wrong. Mm -mm. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home. And not, fuck this shithole forever. Okay. So, looking around... I wonder who gave this to mom. Putting your foot down. Thank you, Dr. Bill. A guide to reign your unruly teen. We all know who, who gave her that. So, if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? Put it back up. Aww. It's close to her bed, though. So, slightly better than before? Still condoms. And VHS tapes? Are they doing porn? Oh. Mama. I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> I really hope that's not the case. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. It's been scientifically proven you're officially the best mom in the world. Happy Mother's Day. Love, Chloe. This card 
is redeemable for a free breakfast in bed. Love you, William. May 8th, 2005. Aww. Aww, we unlocked an option. Can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? Don't think it works that way. All of his stuff. Oh. Shit. David really is moving in. All of David's shirts. <laughs> Neatly folded. <laughs> oh, and a duffel bag. Hey! Hey. Mom's keeping her ring. Sweet. Because you gave her that money. Kind of... Well, you gave her the money. I'm really glad I stole that money for her. You I suck it, Arcadia Pawn. Called and cancel appointment. Yep. Well, I mean, you gave her the money. I stole the money. Because nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Wreck it! Wreck sports it! Sports cars are really good for. Oh! What? I wanted the hot rod flames. Hot rod flames, bunnies. Hot rod flames, bunnies. Hot Fair rod flames. Chicks. Bunnies. I can't believe you, Max. Shut up. At least the bunnies are on fire. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? I think I said Max instead of Mac. Okay. But whatever. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Lots of washcloths. No towel. I really hope that this isn't just copyright music that's playing Tell throughout me. the entire length of it. <laughs> Seeing so much of David's shit around here. But I'm willing to bet that it is. Gross. Manly grip pomade. Super grip hair styling pomade. Uh, hair gel. Maybe mom threw my towel in here. In a hamper? Nope. No awesome pirate towel. A tub. I don't even know what's in there. Only one way to find out. Pirate stuff. Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. Thankfully, this isn't a David Cage game. <laughs> or it just shows booty <laughs> and nips. So now I don't, I don't have to bring out Meryl again. <laughs> of course they can't. This is an underage girl. She's 14. <laughs> and it's not a David Cage game. Blue hair. Starting of the blue hair. And now for clothes. So what, she takes some of her mom's clothes? Clothes. Wow. 
What do I feel like wearing on this greasy ass day? Okay, so let's take a look at everything that we have. So, normal bonus outfits. Dragon, the Cone of Fire, other bonus outfits. There's gotta be more than a dragon, right? Oh, the skull. This is where we got from Rachel. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. See the other outfits? Alright, next is... Skull. I like the skull one better. But we went out of our way to get the Cone of Fire. I don't know, I kind of like this one. Alright, well at least show off the dragon one. Dragon. I like all these outfits. Alright, but you're the one in charge, so you pick her outfit. Alright. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Honestly, I'm a bit surprised. Toolbox Why? Should be in the I would have gone with Cone of Fire and seemed like you were going to go for Skull. But I, I kind of like this jacket. It's her dad's jacket. Okay. It says Hank. Does she wear her dad's jacket for all of them, or just that one? I think it's, um... You've still got time to, to change. Okay, so that's a different outfit. Yeah, a different uh, jacket. So then what, is the skull one a different jacket as well? It's a plaid shirt. No, but the jacket, not... Oh yeah, that's right. It is a, basically just a plaid... A softer... Okay, yeah, you're right. Alright. Dragon it is. I'd wear that. <laughs> well, you already have a mother of dragons. <laughs> Like, tank top, so... I need to get Dad's Funny thing is, you didn't even know that was Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. Not gonna look at Dad's jacket again? I already did. Oh, and it doesn't change? Mm -mm. Ah, okay. Meanwhile, back to the music. Time for tools. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Considering it's a major plot point, zero. Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. And now they're dancing. But we're on a mission. Hey. Who's there? 
Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Just, just tell the truth. I'm, I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe, I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh out of line and I'm sorry okay apology accepted really yeah good job and good job mom for twisting his arm or whatever Chloe what it's great he listens to you can we be done now Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said.
<laughs> Why is it that you always have these sorts of decisions with David? <laughs> oh no. It's fine. I know I'm gonna be nice. I know a lot of people want to see the good ending, so yeah. You're welcome. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. Happy now? Damn. And now we have some form of character development with Chloe. Jesus. What? I would have You been didn't an have ass. to. Oh. You didn't have to. You could have been an asshole to him. And you know, I would have had to deal with it. Or you, depending on like who would be the next interaction with David. Yeah, I was get really going to count what happened to do at the very end. What's the matter, David? Mm, Don't want any more decorations inside that your makes toolbox. The story. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to point that one out when we get there. Don't actually say it, just point it out when we get there. You'll see it. I mean, you've told me a little bit about it, so I have an idea of where it is, but... Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Got a socket wrench. Better. But still needs a bit more love. Amazing how much work she could get done in a single hour. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. So you got some fucking thinger, you got a fucking majig, a battery post, a serpentine belt, a fuel filter, and a radiator cap. And the radio. This thing is gunked the fuck up. Maybe. <gasps> Sick. Don't use it as a blow dart, Chloe. Also, I can't imagine how that would taste if you actually tried that. Oh. Hmm. What do I see? <laughs> I know. Everything is going according to plan. Make uh art, I guess. 
The Raven Cult appreciates your recognition. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? With a wrench. I don't know why she doesn't get a job as a mechanic. <sighs> Much better. Because that would require effort. And we all know how lazy Chloe is. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Again, it's interesting because, like, Frank told her to be there in two hours, right? This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. So she had two hours to go from her house, walk to the junkyard, and fix this car up. All before Frank gets here. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Yeah. All right. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. You got a screwdriver. Got a flathead. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Amber alert. Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Imagine trying to find a working spark club. Spark plug in a junkyard. I need you. Yeah, it's alive. And the first thing she does is go on a joyride. Oh, you're gonna overturn the car. <laughs> well, car is fixed. And probably should pause it right here. Alright, we getting close to some time where we can adequately pause it? I'm not sure. Well, we're a bit past time, so. Hey! Junkyard Queen! Where are you at? Oh, hey, Rachel. Alright. You just hey. want to pause in the middle of a cutscene? Yeah, that's what I was kind of hoping, like, after, like, the so... whole thing there, but. No, 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 we're, we've gotten into it, so let's just continue on until we find an adequate break. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah, badass, too. That shirt looks awesome, too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. 
Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey. I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work? Full time for us. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly. It's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See? You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. Why do you care so much? Because, fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in... Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch!
think so? Amen. What the fuck? <laughs> Chloe, go! <laughs> now! Never knew I could be speechless. So shit got real. Shit got really real. And with that, we're going to go ahead and call it a day here. So join us next time as we see what happens to Rachel. So until next time, everyone, take care.